Hi kids, welcome to STEAM Adventure. Today, we're going to do edible science. Fun things you can do with science and food. I'm going to show you how to do fun experiment with delicious food, candy and egg. Yes, you can have your science and eat it too. All right, let's begin. First thing we're going to do is bounce the egg. And it's so easy. And the ingredient, there's only two ingredients. Okay, vinegar and raw egg. So you, all you need is a couple of eggs. And a big jar wide enough to put your eggs in. Okay, you can have a little jar too. And you can put, also use a cup. Okay, so what you do first is open the jar and carefully lay your egg inside. Not to break it. Ooh, there you go. Maybe one more. And pour vinegar. Now you don't have to measure the vinegar. The idea is to put enough vinegar to cover the egg completely. As you can see, the eggs already have chemical reaction with little tiny bubbles cling to them. Immediately you have that chemical reaction. So, and you're gonna cover it lightly. Now don't pour it all the way up because if it's too much vinegar, it's gonna blow up the cap. So just cover lightly and you're gonna keep it for 24 hours at least, two days maximum, okay? Now, if you want a little fun, you're gonna add a little color. I love blue. Whatever color you want, we're gonna use some food color right now and we're gonna use the stick to stir it. Wow, look at that. that whoa, that's so fun, beautiful. So neat, science. Okay, and you're gonna cover it up and you're gonna leave it 24 hours and come back to it, okay? And now, what happened to the egg? Now, I have an example for you to see. I already have done one. Okay, here we go. So I soaked these two eggs for 24 hours. You need gloves on because it's vinegar. I don't, your hand's gonna smell like vinegar. Okay, you see right here? Remember the eggshell, what color is it? White. So the eggshell is being broken down by the acid of the vinegar. And you can, you can wash it away. How neat is that? And can you see the yolk there? Wow, look at that. Look at that, the Belsier. Oh, wow. And if you turn the light up, and you can see the yolk glowing. As you can tell the difference, original egg, which had hard shell and white. As when we soak in vinegar 24 hours, the shell, which make up, made up of calcium carbonate, and then the vinegar acid wash it away and dissolve the shell. And where did the shell go? It become carbon dioxide into the vin vinegar. And that is where you have a bouncy egg. The next thing we're gonna do, this is gonna be so fun. And you can use a Skittle, M&M, or any candy that has color coded. So, and it's so fun and delicious. I just wanna eat it. So you arrange in any pattern you want. Here I have, what I have right here, I created uniform color for each section. And you can alternate the color, and you can create different patterns. The possibilities are endless. Just have fun with your experiment. So, what I have here is the uh, warm water. I microwave it a little bit here in the measuring cup. Make sure your mom and dad can help you with that. And put it in a squeeze bottle. And then we're gonna try and see. And then just squeeze around the water. And then cross your finger and your toe. And hopefully that will work. <gasps> Did you see that? Do 
you see the color? Now what the warm water is, it dissolves the sugar and the coating. And you see the color travel, isn't that cool? Wow, look at that green, red, orange, brown, and yellow. I believe it's purple color. That's cool. And when, after it's, be, it's dissolved, it diffuses. After it's dissolved, it's diffused. So the color diffuses all and radiate out all the way. And look at these beautiful, beautiful colors. How about let's experiment with vinegar this time and see what happens. I'm so excited, are you? Let's see what's going on. Of course, as we know, vinegar has acid, so the reaction might be different. And this time, I'm just gonna arrange it in a group. Group them up and see what happens. Okay, so. And here, I have just a little bit of vinegar. I'm gonna pour it over the candy. Now, as you can see, it, there is some kind of dissolving and diffusing going on, but very slowly because of the temperature. As we pour warm water in, the dissolve and diffuse reaction work faster because vinegar is, even though it had acid, it's still cold. So this had to do with temperature. As you can see, the colors is dissolving slowly and diffusing as it expanded out. Oh wow, that was quite fun, don't you think? Well, the next project is going to be fun and it's called Rainbow Walking. You actually we're gonna witness a rainbow walking across each other and forming amazing colors. So come on, let's go. Okay, to make rainbow walking experiment, it's pretty easy. All you need is at least four cups, okay? Some kind of shallow cup right here, and some stir stick, okay? And paper towel, okay? Small sheet of paper towel. You can use scissor to cut it up. And water, yay. And food colors, okay? Now food coloring, we're gonna use four primary color. Okay, we're gonna do green. And we're gonna do blue. And we're gonna do red. And of course, yellow, red, red, yellow, and blue, and green. You can search online to mix different color with the primary color. Okay, the first thing you need to do is pour water into the bowl. Just halfway, you don't have to go all the way. Okay. Any more water here. This is like magic. So you're gonna watch, ah, the rainbow, so that, okay, just a little mix it up. Okay, so we have, up. And then for each color, it's just about like three, two, three drop. One, a two, a three, okay. And then we're gonna stir it up. <gasps> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, look at that color bright yellow. So for the red, we do the same thing. One, two, three, yay. Wow, look at that. The, the coloring is diffusing through the water, making it like a real been melting in the water. It's beautiful. And blue, my favorite color. One, two, three. Wow. Mix it up, two, three. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? I get it, a piece of paper towel, okay? And you're gonna fold it once. If you have a big paper towel, you can cut it in half. You're gonna fold it once, and you're gonna fold it twice. 
and there you go. If you, if you want a little skin here, you can do one more fold. So it's up to you. Okay. If you want it shorter, you can cut the two in right here. Okay. So I have three folding paper towel right here. Okay. I'm gonna do watching the diffuse. Whoa. Do you see the color right here? Huh? Now, how does the paper towel hold the water? It's surface tension. So the, the water travel up to the paper towel and the paper towel hold up the water through surface tension. Does it look like a rainbow to you? And of course, it's going one from one color to another. Beautiful. Okay, that was fun. Now the next project we're going to do is building a DNA model, double helix, with Twizzler and dots. You can also use marshmallow, different colors of marshmallow. Hey, okay, let's get started. Okay, to make a DNA model with Twizzler, so you need Twizzler. Of course, DNA is who we are, that's what makes us unique. And we're gonna use Twizzler as the backbones of the DNA, okay? So, and the backbone of the DNA make a nuclear acid, okay? And then, of course, each, your DNA have four bases, ad, adenine, thymine, guanine, and cytosine, okay? The first thing we need to do first is to separate our dot into separate color. So for example, I, that is, I assign green as at nine, at nine, and then red as thymine. Oh. I know, this looks so delicious. And then, this is being as orange. And you can decide different color, doesn't matter, as long as you have fun with it. And of course, one nine red, pink color. Okay. So there you go. Okay. So each DNA ladder, it looks like a ladder, composed of four bases. And they usually pair two together. Now, alanine and thymine always pair together. The easiest way to remember is AT, at, and then GC, okay? So they always together. You cannot, um, A cannot go with G. Likewise, T cannot go with C. AT and then GC. And you can switch TA or AT, as long as they are adenine and thymine together, okay? Okay, so. To thread your bases, you can use a toothpick right here and just simply be careful with sharp toothpick. It's soft enough to push it through. Okay. So right here. And then. Okay, so you got one base and you're gonna thread it. You're gonna attach it to to the, the ladder, the backbone. Okay. Okay, we're gonna do the next run with cytosine and guanine. Now this is so fun, you can impress your teacher with, and then you can Attach another rung in here to it. So you get two rungs of bases right here. So look at that, okay? And now, remember, you can alternate the color, like, 
different position as long as they are at nine and tight timing. Okay, so AT, AT and GC. We're gonna, we're gonna attach another rung right here. There you go. And then you keep building on, and you have, this is what you're gonna have a long double helix. Okay, this is what your DNA looks like. And if you want to remember and play the game, you can just lay it down, and you can write, for example, adenine, thymine, TA, TA, C, C, G, C, G, so on. And that's how you memorize the DNA composition. As you can see, you can use food to explore science. The possibilities are endless. And if you want to build a double helix, please contact your branch for a kit to build your DNA model. Have fun experimenting.